Hey guys and uh, welcome. I just wanted to make a quick update video on the attempted repair that I made to my Saab 93 Air Wagon uh, ECU pin that was broken uh, for the B284 uh, V6 turbo engine. Uh, so if you watched the last video, you saw that I took the broken connector piece and put it in the female end with just a little bit of conductive epoxy on it. And uh, that didn't work at all. Uh, much like I suspected, I don't know why I thought that was gonna work. But anyways, uh, pretty much the second time I went to start the car, it was I mean, not making a connection and the car wouldn't start. So what I did was I actually ordered, I'm gonna put a video of what I did, but I ordered a jeweler's magnifying glass off of Amazon and a set of uh, like various size tweezers. And uh, I was able to put just like a little bit of solder on the base of where the pin broke off and then I would wait like 10 to 15 minutes so the solder was pretty much almost nearly dry uh, because I found if it was too liquidy, the pin wouldn't stay and it was like impossible to hold it where your hand's just shaking because it's so small. Um, I guess you could find like some sort of like maybe like a clamp arm or something to hold it in place, but I just did it manually. And, uh, but anyways, I had to wait till it was almost dry. I was able to place the pin and uh, get it to stay and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, this time it's actually going to work. Here's what the completed pin looks like. It is important to note to check the resistance from the adjacent pins to make sure they're not shorted. Mine was initially, but I was able to scrape off some extra solder and correct it. When I re went to redo the connection, I put a little bit of um, dielectric grease on the pin just so it would, wouldn't create too much friction and break the connection when I did up the connector. That being said, it seems like that epoxy is actually pretty strong because after it dried, the pin wasn't like quite aligned properly. And I was, I was able to put a great deal, of, a good deal of force on it, bending it into place without the solder breaking. So fingers crossed, uh, I think it's gonna work. Um, the only thing I'm kind of nervous about is just like long-term vibration, what that's gonna do to it. Um, but hopefully I'll actually be able to drive the car for more than like three days at a time before the next time something on this car decides to break. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video. I just want to give an update on how that repair went or didn't go and what I did to actually make it right. I have driven the car probably like 50 miles since I did the second attempt. So I think it's going to be good. Uh, only time will tell, I'll keep you updated on that. Uh, sorry, I've been, haven't been making a video for a while. I was in a road trip or did a road trip with the uh, that car, that's why it has bugs all over it. Uh, so that video should be coming soon too. And then also I need to do some more work on the saw, of course, because it never ends with that car, but I have a new water pump uh, that I need to put in it, which I'll probably do tomorrow. If I can find the mo motivation. I just got off night shift, so I'm a little bit lazy. Um, but yeah, uh, hope you guys uh, appreciated this uh, update. And as always, stay tuned uh, for more content, like subscribe, do all that stuff. All right, have a good day. Thanks for watching.